Hello, good morning in Europe, in Germany, and good afternoon, maybe, in Japan. Uh, my name is Elena Ganem bachmann from the University, uh, Heinrich Heine University in Düsseldorf. And I'm together with my colleague, uh, Katja Wolfheil. Um, she will, afterwards, my presentation, answer all questions you have. Um, and we are pleasant to introduce us itself um, in frame of the European Higher Education Fair in Japan, online this time, uh, 2020, from the EU delegation. Um, I want to share with you um, the presentation uh, we um, organized for today. I hope you can see it clearly and understand me also well. So um, we want to make some info give you some information for prospective students from Japan to join us and join the beautiful city Dusseldorf because it's an amazing um, city. Um, I want to give you some short facts from the HHU. Um, Heinrich Heine Universität is called HHU. Um, it's a young university, um, one of the younger higher education in the state of uh, Northern Westphalia, founded in um, 1965. We have nowadays around uh, 37,000 students, about 4,000 are foreign students, um, in five faculties located on one big campus. Um, and this is important to know for all students, foreigns and not foreigns, um, we don't have study fees. Um, the first um, faculty uh, I can mention is the Faculty of Arts and Humanities. We offer Bachelors of Arts, Master of Arts, Doctoral Studies, and we have um, like uh, one third of our all students, like 10,000 are in this faculty. And about 10%, 11% are international students. Um, then we have um, the Faculty of Business Administration and Economics. Also, we have the Bachelor, Master of Arts, Doctorants, and so, um, we have economics, um, finance. Um, uh, we have also um, an institute for an MBA. It, it has a cost, it has a fee, but it's separately to this faculty of business administration where you can make your bachelor from first of all to the master and then the doctor. Mm. We also have the Faculty of Law uh, with a state examination um, allowed in Germany and doctoral studies. There are around 2000 students, um, around uh, 135 international ones. Um, it is also very interesting because um, the Faculty of Law is making a lot of con corporations with uh, France and um, it, they offer also, we offer also a dual um, study program with a university like Sergi in France. We have the Faculty of Medicine, a big one with a very big um, hospital in the campus. Um, also with a state examination um, allowed in Germany and Europe uh, with about 4,000 students and 700, around 700 international one. Um, the big faculty of mathematics and natural science, um, also with state examinations allowed here around uh, 80,000 students and around 2,000 international students. Um, these are the faculty we have here in one campus in the middle of Dusseldorf. And all the courses we offer, you can see on this link, 
I would like to share it um, directly in our website. So, um, moment, please. Here, um, the hhu.de. Um, so, I'll make it close here. So if you want to check the link, there is on the presentation and the presentation I would love to, um, to um, share with you on the platform of the EHE if uh, Japan. So here you can see all the study programs we have. Um, if a bachelor or a master or a doctor and in which kind of language we offer this. If you only want to see in English, then um, you will find a selection one or in German or um, in multiple languages, you also find um, like compared to studies in English and American languages and what kind of languages we offer. So then I would like to return to the presentation. So this is the link I want to share you. If you want to take a look properly to every kind of study we offer here, um, I would like to ask uh, Katia how many bachelors we have and how many master's program we have around. Um, do you know that in, in your mind? Um, we take a look. Um, no, unfortunately, I do not know that. Uh, <laughs> um, um, uh, right now, uh, it's more more bachelor programs than master programs, but the master programs are more specific, um, and there are a few English programs, but in the bachelor not. So only in the master we have uh, real English uh, programs completely in English. Um, Yes, uh, just have a look on the website perhaps and uh, have a look where you, you can find your, the study programs you're searching for. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, we also have a brochure generated for a personal one. You can create your own personal university brochure online at the HHU with all, with all information you need to choose your study program. Um, unfortunately, this is only available in German language. We are working um, very hard to put everything in English also. Um, it is very interesting to see um, how you can create your own personal brochure you want to, to read uh, with what with which kind of faculty, which kind of bachelor, or which kind of um, German courses? How is the campus? How is the life here? The life in Dusseldorf? Um, I only have to say I invite you to create your own uh, brochure and to uh, enjoy it. So um, we want to tell you that not only we are um, really sure that there are more reasons why you should come to Dusseldorf and study here. This is um, like statements and testimonials from German and foreign um, students that they said, and we said that the study is very diverse. We can find here from advocates to um, um, philosophy, um, English um, languages to modern Japan studies, um, a, a broad um, um, faculties and, and study programs you can find here. Um, let, let's take a look to the, the six reason we have. Oh, look, more than 85 study programs we have. Um, so um, the mixture we have is very, transculturality is very diverse, is very international, and is very know-how diversity um, exposed from the university. So there are a lot of um, 
different kind of of mentalities and students join the campus. So um, it's committed uh, committed uh, lectures. Um, the teacher at the HA2 are not only fit in their own subjects, they, they demand a whole content of, of, of lectures. They are um, integrated one um, lecture to another one. It is not just only medicine, no, it's biology, pharmaceutical, industrial pharmaceutical, uh, molecular biomedicine, and um, this, is, this is like a multidisciplinary. Um, this is one campus for everyone. You can here study, go to the bibliotheque, eat very well at the Mensa. The Mensa is a big restaurant you have here for all students and um, people like us, uh, workers and professors. Everybody mix. Uh, themselves in, in one big cantina. Um, we have a botanical garden. Uh, we have coffees, uh, places to join the, the summer, uh, places to join the winter. Um, we, you can uh, also live here at the campus. We have uh, uh, commodities, uh, apartments for students, for one person in one apartment till I think four person in one apartment. Um, yeah, this is uh, why we, we said uh, we have one campus in just in the middle of Dusseldorf for everyone. So we have a modern infrastructure. Um, I told you we are a young university. We have the mixture of old good German and uh, modern uh, buildings. Um, and not only buildings, also research, research centers. And Economicum is one of the newest um, building of the Faculty of Administration and Economics. Um, so you can join all those kind of, um, yeah, well done infrastructures we have. Um, the best location. Düsseldorf is really nice. It's a safe city. It's a very young city. Um, the community of Japanese uh, uh, people is very, very big. Um, the community built here um, um, infrastructure from restaurants, doctors, schools, uh, supermarkets, everything you can find here if you need for when you come to be supported by, that, by a, a community. Not also we, um, I want to say that we also offer um, a body program, Feel at Home is called. Um, Feel at Homes, um, oh, wait a second, I want to show you something. Feel at Home in Düsseldorf, I hope you can see this. Katja, it's okay, well placed. Um, this is a brochure we um, um, offer all students who want to come to Dusseldorf to be um, feeling home here um, from before you come, when you come, uh, when you are already here, what to do, how to meet people. Um, there is um, a big community um, of students and young people want to welcome you. Uh, but this is very important also to say that the community of Japanese people are very, very big. We are called the Tokyo of Europe. Um, and uh, the center of really a lot of companies from Japan. Um, we're well connected. The university is really well connected to, with um, knowledge region and other universities with the culture, with economic and politics. Um, and it plays an um, important and a pioneering role in, um, in introduce and in, in, in communicate um, faculties um, and, and e economics and politics and culture and everything. Um, needs an, um, a modern society. 
So, um, but we have more for you. We, I already told you, uh, we have no study fees also for foreign students. We offer German courses for free. We have also master study programs in English. Um, students houses at the campus. Short stays as guests. Students are also possible if you want to stay here for one semester or one year, you also can do it. We have a lot of partnerships um, with um, many, many um, universities in Japan. I will talk to you this after in another slice. Um, and now um, we have uh, counseling and advisory via chat, phone, and email every day from Monday to Friday. Um, then it's not only this, this space now, um, you will see at the end of the presentation, uh, you can um, contact us in the future. This is what I talk already about Dusseldorf and Japan. There we see um, facts and figures about uh, 15,000 um, Japanese lives in the federal state of Northern Westphalia and about 6,500 Japanese citizens here in the capital of Dusseldorf. Um, there are a lot of um, Japanese companies, like 620, yes, and around 400 of these located in the big states are located only in Dusseldorf. Then you can see um, how important Dusseldorf um, and Japan uh, work uh, together. Um, we have the largest Japanese community and not only with a good infrastructure, also um, we at the university that will you show now, um, have the biggest, largest Japanological Institute in Germany with around 700 students and around um, 800 study cases in this institute. Also the Department of Medicine and the Department of Art are making a doctoral program on topic of aging research with uh, three Japanese, uh, Japanese universities. Um, this next slide uh, will show you how many um, connections we have with Japan. Uh, and since when, since when we, we have in the 90s already a lot of partnerships created. Um, and um, we also have new one created. It is like a flow. It, it, it comes every time, comes more and create more partnerships. And um, this is not only that Japanese students are coming to us, also a lot of German students from the um, studies, um, modern um, Japanese uh, studies, um, studies, yeah, sorry, <laughs> are going to Japan um, for one semester, one year with some scholarship we offer. So we also have a lot of international corporations in Europe and um, in, in the world. Um, we have uh, our Erasmus program that is a big program um, from the European Union. Uh, we have like 350 partnership, partnerships with them. Uh, we have um, teaching partnership and faculty and department level partnerships, strategic one, higher education institutions partnerships um, and uh, around, all around the world. So, um, for sure, uh, we are not also interest for you. Also, the Düsseldorf Business School is very important to know. Um, the University of Applied Science, um, the Robert Schumann Hochschule Düsseldorf, this is for musician, um, and uh, the IEK Düsseldorf, this is the Institute for International Communication in Düsseldorf. All these addresses offers you the possibility to take a look what also Dusselhoff offering students from medicine, 
still um, engineering uh, what we don't have, but in the University of Applied Science, they have that, and to music and culture from the, for example, the Robert Schumann Hochschule. So, um, I would love to have a uh, um, question from your size. Uh, we are here um, in a double um, team and we would like to, to answer your questions, but feel free also to write an email to these email addresses, uh, address, uh, study at hhu.de and more information. This is, um, now we are, um, we have a new website. This is why we are not sure if all links uh, and, and of the website are in English, but take a look here and maybe you will find the, the button in English and to get the information. If not, then please write an email to this address. We will respond your and uh, your questions as soon as possible. Um, yes, um, it is a pleasure to introduce the HHU you in Japan. Um, um, I really um, expected um, about the questions you have, and I'm here. Feel free to ask us. Thank you very much and have a good rest of the day. Bye. Uh, yes, uh, thank you, Elena. <laughs> that was, uh, was great. Um, uh, I already had some questions uh, in the uh, question and answer box. Um, but um, before I'm answering the questions, I would uh, like to give you uh, a general information. Um, uh, we have on our website, I will send the link uh, in the chat. We have on our website general information um, for um, interested uh, people from abroad. Uh, and here you can find, I think, the um, most important information when you want to study a full study program here. Um, the most important things you need for that is a German certificate when you want to do a bachelor. And for the most, most of the master programs, you will need that as well. Um, so um, the German certificate when you're starting a whole study program here, so not when you're doing an exchange, but when you're doing the whole study program here at HHU, you need a C1 certificate in German for most of our study programs. And there you need a test of exam with four or five points, DSH exam, DSH two or three, or a TELC C1, um, for university um, and this is what you need uh, you can find on our website um, so because most of our study programs are held in german um, and we have some english ones but it's not that much so um, just to give you the information that you um, for full study program here you need um, a more or less high German level and to check if your high school certificate is accepted here. Please look on the website um, which is called Anabin. I will send you the link in the chat for all um, par participants. Um, it's Anabin. Just a second. <laughs> I need to check if it's the right link. Um, and there you can have a valid information of um, if the if your high school certificate is accepted here. So this is Anabin called. Yeah, this is the link. And um, then if you're doing the IB um, exam, perhaps. Some people are doing the IB, as I know. Um, you can check as well if it's enough to, to study um, here at HHU, to apply here. 
Um, I will send you the link as well in the chat. So it's for people with the IB, the International Baccalaureate. Yes, okay. So the most important things is German certificate and um, the school certificate, which is compared to the German Abitur. Okay, and then I have, I think, uh, perhaps more questions in the chat right now. Mm. Okay, uh, okay, I, I think I do, did not send the, la, the message to everyone, so I will send it. Thanks so much. I will send the links again to to all of you. <laughs> okay. So this is for your IB. The IB. And to check your Google certificate, it's uh, Anabin. So just uh, keep that in mind. Um, so there's just a few words <laughs> for the application process. Hmm? Huh? Ah, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. So we have another question here. Um, yeah, we have German courses for free when you're already enrolled here as an international student. Yes. And the question here is, um, um, if it's possible to write um, in, in German, I think exams or something. Um, yeah, it is because most of the study programs are held in German, yes. Um, we have another question. Ah, Elena is already answering. Uh, computer linguistics. Uh, there's another question. I, I would read that for you all. Um, you have computer linguistics in bachelor, which other universities consider as too hard to do in bachelors. How do you make it possible? Ah, this is a good question. <laughs> I, I will try to answer that. Um, it's um, a few, like a fusion of two bachelor programs that we already had before. So we have um, computer science, it's really, um, a huge, um, a, a, um, a huge uh, study program here, and we have um, inf informational science and uh, linguistic as well. So, and then we we put it all together um, to one bachelor program, um, and we had that in the bachelor before, but. It was um, singular study programs, and just we put it together. Um, yes, to to the computer linguistics. So uh, to do that in the bachelor, so you will have um, computer science as well as linguistics and the basics as well here. Hi everybody, here's Elena again. Um, um, I read a very important um, question nowadays. Um, it is, would it be also difficult to start a master's study program due to Corona in 2021 in fall? So we're making it really um, possible for foreign students to come to Germany and to study now and to begin the semester right now. It depends on the um, embassies to get the visa, first of all. It do not depends from us. It depends of the situation next year. Um, but we are offering a modality of 
online and presence, both or only one. It depends on the faculty. This kind of um, information we will find at the um, faculty's websites, uh, what kind of modality they are using. If you are interested in coming um, for medicine, then you have to be here because it's presential. You have to go to the um, hospital. You have to go to the laboratory. It's like industrial pharmacy, biology, biology um, chemistry. But um, from our size, you are welcome to come due to Corona. This is the question is, is the embassy of your country um, of, of Germany in your country um, are um, offering you and an, um, giving you um, visa for this. Okay, I hope I um, answer your question, um, everything you wanted to, to know. Um, okay, there is another question. Do you have any course for free taught in English? Should I submit any language certification? So we don't have course for free talk in English. We have um, study programs like masters, like um, physics is completely in English. Then you have to submit a language certification to, um, to show that your English is good, like C1. Um, also, um, transnationality, uh, transnationality there are a seven master study programs we offer at the hhu just in english the other one there are a mix of languages or a pure german um so um maybe you can help me um katya with this mm -hmm. um question you mean the next one? Yes. Uh, yes, from Yoshiaki. Um, uh, we do not have like aerospace medicine or space tourism. Um, um, but you, you mean that you want to find something which builds up on, on that bachelor you already did. Um, Related to natural science or engineering. Um, unfortunately, we do not offer engineering uh, study programs. Um, so for engineering, um, I would recommend you to look at other universities in North Rhine-Westphalia, like uh, Aachen um, or, um, yes, or... Uh, or Ah, yes, and the yes, <laughs> and the University of Applied Science in Düsseldorf, um, because we do not offer um, engineering uh, study programs. It's, it's like the only <laughs> study programs we do not offer, unfortunately. So please have a look at um, uh, other universities. Mm. Uh, I would to, to find German universities uh, in general and study programs, I would recommend you, um, the, it's a German website, it's called Hochschulkompass, but you can switch that in English. I will send it into the chat right now. I hope I'm doing that right, <laughs> right now. Uh, Hochschulkompass.de um yes and it's possible to um a search for every uh, study program in germany there and we have a lot as you, as you may know <laughs> so uh yes hochschulcampus.de um to find more study programs in germany yeah Okay. Um, here. Uh, questions. Um, the person want to get more explanation to be a student of the HHU. How to? How is the process to be here to be admitted to come in? Um, can you explain this and maybe also send a link? Thank you. Yes. Yes. Of course. Um, so the first step is to. 
which study program you want to do. And then you need to have a look at the application process. And um, we have uh, on our website all important um, information on the application process. Uh, I will send you the link um, for not EU applications and the, you can find um, the most important information. So this is the link. I, I Hopefully I sent it to everyone right now. Yes, I think so. Um, so um, you need to do an application and um, there we need a German certificate from you and uh, your school certificate. And to check if it's the right one, you can do that on Anabin before. Uh, and um, German certificates, we offer, uh, um, we accept a test staff with four or five points, DSH two or three. Um, yes. Uh, and tell C1. Um, and then you're doing the application. Um, we, you will uh, do it on a paper form uh, and send us your, um, your certificates. Then we will check that here. And uh, we will um, send you a letter with acceptance um, or not, um, hopefully with an acceptance. And then you can enroll. Yeah, and then you can come here and study at HHU. Was that the answer to your question? Okay, we have some minutes. Um, <laughs> then maybe you can ask more. We will pleasure to, to answer you. Um, otherwise, you can find the presentation also on the website um, of the EHEF and um, you can write us um, an email anytime, but we are here, we are pleasant to, to answer now also questions. Yes, I would recommend to first of all um, look if we offer the study program you, you want to do um, and then have a look at the website for the application. Um, and if you then have further questions, uh, you can always um, uh, talk to us or write us an email, a call us. Um, Yes. Maybe I can share again the link where they can find all the study programs we have. Yeah, um, perfect. Then take a look again. Wait a second. This one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and I would uh, like to give you the information that we also have a hotline here where you can call by telephone if you want to. It's open 10 hours from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. here in German time. Um, and you can find it on our website as well. And you can also write to study at hhu.de um, and to SSC um, at hhu.de um, I will give you the link to our hotline just a second <laughs> so because then you can reach us um, like all, all the time almost <laughs> so um, Katya will um yeah. We don't. <laughs> um, uh, Ten forty. So we have um, yeah. to say thank you very much, everybody, um, to join us. Uh, we um, love to um, 
to talk about us itself and the HHU. And if you have any question, please feel free to contact us and to join us. Thank you very much also from the EHEF 2020 and the EU delegation and the DAAD. Um, thank you very much. Bye bye. Yes, bye bye from my side as well. Uh, it was nice to uh, talk to you and please contact us if you will have further questions. Of course. Have a good day. Bye bye.